Hey everybody out there, my name is Dragnix and this is Roche Fusion. It is $12 on the Steam Store. It has been a while since it's come out. I originally did a video over at Tech Raptor, and this was not what I was planning for, for today. However, um, the game I was planning, Serpent in the Staglands, just has too many complications in terms of mechanics that I can't feel comfortable with the amount I've played to do a video for it. So instead, I will give you guys a little bit of Roche Fusion. Don't worry, it's still a good game. It's a good shoot 'em up game that just had a recent update within the last, well, today actually. So I do want to show you guys a little bit of the gameplay. Now, actually before I begin, I want to show you guys something specific. I do like the fact that this game gives you a lot of options in terms of performance. In terms of like, I can literally turn off many particles, I can damage particles I can turn off. Like if you're having performance problems with the game, there are a lot of ways to deal with that in terms of like turning off rays and all the li extra lighting. I do like seeing that, especially for people who have like certain kind of conditions in terms of like, you know, color blindness or, you know, specific like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, not dyslexia, um, epilepsy, like making sure that it does and nothing triggers that person in terms of being able to activate their epilepsy. It is nice, that's for sure. So, you, you get a couple of choices in terms of starting um, uh, ships here. You got the Beard, you got the NOP3, Lily, and Trinity. You do unlock them as you do certain objectives. For example, if I get NOP3 and I kill the epic boss with it, or absorb a certain amount of damage in one game. I will play on normal. I did just play on easy and I think the changes in balance have actually made a difference. So I'm gonna play on normal. I want, I do want to sort of die and show you a different um, ship because of the fact that they have vast differences. All right, simple shoot 'em up mechanics. So my ship in particular has sort of this, you know, very quick uh, barrage of lasers, but then there's a little bit of a cooldown. So it's very burst damagey in question. Now you get a good amount of en enemy variety. The game starts you off slow like you would expect, but to trust me when, yeah, it's gonna get harder and harder as you go along. Now, unlike a lot of games, this has actually got a pretty zoomed in perspective compared to everything else. All right, let's get an upgrade. So after a certain waves, you can get an upgrade. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with the quick charge shield. That will quickly recharge a shield, but it's only low energy. I do have a shield, I can take certain amounts of damage and even I can have enemies run into me, but once the shield's gone, then I can take a, a fatal hit, which of course, you want to avoid at all costs. Now that is a passive upgrade, so that will activate without, you know, me having to do pretty much anything, but there are active upgrades as well with cooldown effects. As I was saying about the oh, upgrade, there are other upgrades like you saw there where you get more passive upgrades that are not necessarily like unique or specific like it up my fire rate for my main lasers on that one you can get even upgrades for the upgrades that you get like the actives or the passives there we go i do like the music like sort of zooming in and out there uh rainbow of doom no i'm gonna get i'm gonna take the medic a little medic bot as you see there will heal my shield and myself um periodically all right, so things are pretty easy to begin with, but trust me when I say it's going to get harder and harder rather quickly. In particular with the normal mode, it is sometimes unforgiving. There are a lot of enemies that can appear on screen and there's only certain amount of screen space that you have to work with at this point. Now, you, there is a good variety of enemies and I do like how they spawn in different places. This is not necessarily waved base i notice a pattern in terms of enemies and the types that appear but other than that there's not really a like a specific pattern to okay wave three is going to have x y and z which is nice it keeps the variety up however you always feel a little bit familiar with it too because the configurations seem to be like certain configurations that can go on i took some too much damage there and obviously i died Notice how I don't have a lot of room to work with here, like at all. I also don't have a super weapon, which is sort of the way that you can really get out of those situations rather easily um, to sort of bring yourself to have a bigger path. Went for the upgrades and 
got my butt handed to me. Yep, the normal mode is more, a little bit harder. I just set like the 10th highest score on the easy mode, uh, but then again, the biggest score was like a billion. Um, really? I wanna see like the laser or like the black hole. No, I'm getting, I'm really getting all like everything else that I, but I, what I want. So that sort of sucks. Hopefully in the next run, when I die with the four lives that I have, that I can show you guys a little bit more. I can activate it at least. Okay, bullet time. You, these are pretty typical upgrades that you would expect from the g games like this. Although the medic bot, I've never seen that in other games before. I've seen like, you know, quick charge shields or, you know, things like that. Now, one thing I do like is that when I try to use something that's got a cooldown, you'll notice that it appears like big in the middle of the screen. I love that. I love the fact that I don't have to go and look at the bottom screen and like squint to see is what it, what is it? What value is it? Instead, the game brings it to me at that point, and I like that. Um... Man, they're taking a lot of damage, and this is where the lack of super weapons that could really, like, deal with these guys in a rather efficient manner would really come in handy. There we go. Oh, boy. And other enemies are spawning now. This is going wonderfully for me. Now, one of the things I hate about this game, and I, I shouldn't say hate, I dislike is the fact that those green upgrade orbs, they don't stay around that often. They, I mean, in fact, they, they go away rather quickly. And there's not a lot of time to usually grab them. And the thing is, is that you don't know what enemies will have the upgrades or not. So it's not like you can tactically do anything different, which I feel like it, 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 it misses the point. It misses the point of things like that. All right. So I didn't do that great in that portion of it, but hey, that's why we have enough, we can uh, go uh, again at this point. Let's play as the Trinity. The Trinity is a missile launcher, which it shoots at a constant barrage, but in terms of like hitting your enemies, you don't have a lot of wiggle room because again, your missiles don't, are very not, or very not numerous, unnumerous. I don't know what the word I'm looking for there is, but they hit pretty hard. So two or three good hits as opposed to maybe like 20 laser hits, which, it's a nice good mixture of the, the ships with each other. The fact is that some ships work very well in certain situations, others don't. Again, a lot of variety in Roche Fusion, which is, I think, where I have to say the game strain flies. Every game feels just a tiny bit different, familiar enough, but not so overly unfamiliar that you're struggling. And that really does help the game in the long run. Of course I'm gonna take the frickin' laser because it's a frickin' laser. You wanna see the frickin' laser? That's the frickin' laser. Now it's got a 10 second cooldown, but that's what I'm talking about when like dealing with like, you know, this sort of like really desperate situations where you need to get rid of a lot of enemies. That's your sort of trump card at that point. Because it does a hell of a lot of damage. The sound is rather what you expect out of a genre like this. However, I will say that it hasn't gotten to the point where I've wanted to turn it off, but it's not one of those soundtracks that you're gonna sit there and go, yeah, I wanna listen to this 27 times in a row. Mm. Uh, let's see. Let's get some homing missiles. Let's make things a little bit easier considering the fact that we have a certain weapon type that's more a go big and go or go home kind of weapon. Now you can have a certain amount of passives and a certain amount of actives in terms of upgrades. So keep that in mind. Like you can't have all passive upgrades. It just doesn't work. You can't have all, you know, usable upgrades or in terms of activation upgrades. It just doesn't work. Do do. There is a super mode in terms of we haven't you after a certain level you start getting super meter. You get orange orbs that appear. It's a lot later on, and the thing is, it's really hard to activate them, at least in the old game. I was able to activate it in the other video, but there were some sound problems with it, so I was like, nope, that's not going to happen. So, I think they need to really mess with that, because, again, even when you get the super upgraded, the thing is, is that it takes about 15 seconds of the super that you can't activate on command. It activates when you activate one of your super weapons, which seems a little bit... Okay, I can't use my super weapons then, which is a really good way of getting out of trouble. 
it seems like I would want to use anything but that at this point. Like maybe a, a, the right bumper would be great. Again, I'm playing with a controller, but you know, both control sets work just fine. It's just that I feel more natural with the controller in question, that's for sure. So, it's, it is a good fun game, and for $12, if you are a shoot 'em up fan, I think you're gonna get the variety out of it. You're gonna get those, you know, okay, I'm gonna wanna play this over and over again. Ran right into that. Now, whether or not you are a shoot 'em up fan, if you aren't, while the, the visuals and everything here is nice, it's a lot of the same that you would expect from the genre. Now, I will say that, you know, it is one of the better ones in the genre, that's for sure. Especially lately, but whoa, hello. But um, it just—I mean, the shoot 'em up genre in, in particular is a interesting genre because it is a lot of the same. There isn't very much a lot of uniqueness at times within it. Now, Horizon Shift—I did a video on that yesterday. That yeah, okay, that one's a lot, very very unique. Um, Ikaruga was very very unique before people started copying it. So, it is one of those genres that you see a lot of the same, but you know what you're getting out of them, too, which is rather nice as well. Okay. I don't want you over there, because that is a very short span in terms of me being able to take damage, and I'm not a fan of that. Um, do 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 There we go. I wish I had a second super weapon. Suit... Having more super weapons is actually rather important because, again, those are the ways that you get out of trouble. And in particular, in this game, getting into trouble is rather easy. Okay, your shield's back up, damn it. Now, on a personal note, uh, I would like to get some feedback from everybody if you have watched this channel, you know, for a period of time. I have tried some new thumbnails. Um, I'm still waiting on the here on the from the artist in question with like the new logo and everything, but I. I was sort of playing around in um, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro and noticed that I could do something that I didn't think I could do within it in terms of the frame grab and in particular the title mess around with some uh, backgrounds and foregrounds. I figured that, that it was possible but I hadn't taught myself. Well, playing around I fi finally figured it out so um, that was rather nice. I do want to hear if you guys like those. Um, I know again it may change once I get you know some a new logo which will be happening whether or not this person responds to me um, I do want to give her a little bit more time I am sort of that per patient person in that sense but sooner or later that's gonna have to change obviously all right still going that's good um, bullet timer is not what I want I'll take the split now, I, I don't know, is does it upgrade the ship in terms of the visual looks? I think it does. Um, at least what I'm seeing here. I don't remember it being like that, but um, maybe after you get a certain amount of upgrades, it starts visually upgrading, which is possible. Uh, there we go. Take all that. Here's the orange orbs that I was talking about. Again, with the orbs, like being so far off screen and in particular in a lot of danger areas there's not a lot of reason at times to go for especially the orange orbs because again like i said before you know the rate in which you make orange uh the um above is rather small so small in fact that it's usually not really worth risking your ship to get it um most of the runs that i would do before it would like i, I got maybe the super twice on normal and that was very, very good runs. All right, there we go. Now, upgrades definitely do help you, and you feel every choice of the upgrades you make. Now, you do get the randomization factor. Again, like you saw in that first run, I got a lot of upgrades that didn't suit my play style, um, which is more aggressive. I'm usually a little bit more aggressive in these games than maybe, say, like, a, like an RPG or... Um, sort of a tactical RPG or action RPG. Um, I'm a lot more aggressive in these kind of games just because I feel like you have to be. And the other one was a lot more passive upgrades. Other than that, the game is definitely solid. It runs at a good frame rate. It's, it's, it's actually a rather good 60 frames per second all the time. 
it never really drops it, and that's a good thing. It's not like it's necessarily the most taxing game, but with that said, it is nice to see good performance be put on the um, forefront here because, again, they could have easily made a game that, you know, ran 30 or 40 or inconsistently, I think, is my bigger problem when it comes down to it, where you get fluctuating frame rates and huge frame drops. Here, you have it solid. I mean, there's no question. Uh, and I'm recording at 60. There could be something higher than that right now. Um, I haven't actually checked, but, you know, it does the job. All right, can you come over here so I can kill you? No, nope, there we go. All right, so are we going to see a boss here? I don't know. I'll take the Orb Attractor. It's a passive, but, you know, there's not much other stuff I can take there. I'm actually wanting the more the other upgrades in terms of, like, the like fire rate. I do like the fact that you can upgrade your upgrades. So, like, my Orb um, portion can be upgraded in terms of the use of it. Oh, boy. And you're starting to see the craziness. It's definitely gotten a little bit more chaotic. Um, yep. Alright, so this is Roche Fusion. I do think it's worth the price of a mission. Um, it, it is one of those games where if you aren't a fan of the genre, it's going to be hard for you to get into. And maybe it is a kind of game that you can try when it's on sale. But other than that, it's rather good at what it does. All right, this is Dragnik signing out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Again, I will leave the review in the, in the not the comments, the description below. Again, for sort of purposes of, you know, showing the, showing the game off and showing the videos off. If you upvote that, that would be great. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. I mean, I am trying to make a career of this, and I will see you all later. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and do like the content that's being produced, consider subscribing. It does help me out a lot. In addition, I've left two other videos for you guys to enjoy. One specifically related to the genre in the video on the left, and the last video on the right. You can always get me at DragnixMod in terms of Twitter, and you can see me on Steam and other various social networks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.